Hey everyone, this is Nazicat. Um, I wanted to do another video on copper, but I wanted to focus on copper bullion. This is uh, the copper bullion that I have. Uh, this is the um, one ounce. This is a, has a little uh, buffalo in the front. In the back it has this type of uh, design. Um, it's kind of hard to see with my camera, but there you go. Okay. <laughs> Now, again, when you're dealing with copper, you're dealing with uh, pounds. Okay, so I have coin inflation here. As of today, November 11th, copper is at 3.55 per pound. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, go to the calculator here. And for one ounce, let's go ahead and take a look here, 3.55 divided by and it takes 16 ounces to make one pound so you can divide it by 16 so one ounce of copper bullion should be 22 cents okay there it is 22 cents now <clears throat> this costs me four dollars okay so let's go ahead and calculate the premium that I paid for this copper bullion. Technically, I didn't pay for it. It was a gift to me, but let's just say if you bought it for $4. So you have, uh, let's say it's uh, 22. 0.22 minus 4. That would be the premium that you would have paid for this copper bullion. $3.78. So obviously this is not a good deal because you're paying a lot. <clears throat> In the long run, if copper went up to $10 a pound, $20 a pound, yeah, I can I could see that uh, as a okay deal. All right. <clears throat> so um again, yeah, I paid so much for this and and there are times where um I look at uh, online stores and they're running for about a buck fifty and so you know obviously the that would be so much better so if you wanted to calculate the premium for a dollar fifty so what did it say point two two um minus dollar fifty so you would have paid a dollar twenty eight <clears throat> premium on these okay so i don't like the rounds uh, in my other video, I calculated uh, the premium for uh, one pound of these copper bullion versus uh, one pound of the copper bar. And uh, I saved a lot of money. So um, if you're going to invest in copper, I don't recommend the copper bullion. I recommend the copper bars. And uh, not just uh, like the half pound. I'm talking kilos. And one kilo equals 2.2 pounds. Okay, so um, I would go with those if you wanted to go uh, and invest in copper. And so again, in coinflation, as you can see, copper is at $3.55 a pound. Okay, and these uh, other metals, zinc and nickel, they're per pound also. Okay, so, and if you start hoarding nickels, um, you can use their uh, calculator to calculate how much um, your nickel is actually worth in terms of um, nickel as well as copper. Because you got to remember, nickel is 75% copper, 25% nickel. Alright, so, if you just have one, and see it's about uh, the same price as, uh, well, the metal value is the same price as uh, the actual nickel so that's actually worth five cents and if you start to go down the line here you'll start to see that some of this stuff is not uh, the the melt value is definitely not the same as the denomination um, as you go down here so if you do want to go copper I'll go copper bars now 
when you talk about copper pennies, the 95% copper, you know, you look at it's worth a, a cent, but you also look at the middle value and it's worth two cents. <clears throat> and so um, you're probably wondering, hey, what about copper? Pennies, that is, 95% copper. Um, the reason why I don't want to invest in that is because it does deal with Congress. When Congress um, changes the laws in which uh, you can now melt copper pennies, then yes, I can see this as um, an investment. But again, you've heard me say this time and time again, opportunity costs. If I park my money in $25 worth of copper, I'm going to lose investing $25 in silver, um, $25 in, <clears throat> let's say, uh, uh, saving the $25 and just letting it grow and, and just keep on adding to it every pay period. And then I have enough money to buy, say, a gram of gold. Um, so think about your investment philosophies. And you hear me say that time and time again. Because your investment philosophies keeps you on the right track. And uh, I have other YouTube videos that I posted <clears throat> actually chronicling me turning in my, uh, my copper penny hoard and my nickels and changing it into the uh, FRNs, the Federal Reserve Notes, and exchanging that for two ounces of silver. And so uh, go ahead and check out that video. Um, and also I have another video, uh, explaining why, um, I'm getting out of, uh, the copper pennies and investing in copper. Um, check that video out too. I just wanted to do this, uh, really quick video just to show you guys the premiums that you pay for a copper bullion. Okay. And, um, you know, again, uh, that's how you become a smart investor. You know, you can't sit there and say, well, I get paid every two weeks, so I'll just go ahead and splurge and I'll just wait for next pay period. You, you want to maximize your money. As a good investor, you definitely want to maximize your money. And is this maximizing your money? No. Now, I can understand as a collector, you might want to have this because you haven't really seen this before. So, <clears throat> on, uh, in that sense, that's fine. You know, and uh, the dealer I deal with, um, she was... Uh, kind enough to give this to me as a gift, uh, as a way of saying thank you for spending, I don't know how much money I spent there, but I spent uh, probably over a hundred bucks with her. So she was very grateful. I don't know if it was a slow day. I don't know if uh, she kind of knew that I was going to continuously come and shop with her, but you know, I'm, I'm thankful that she gave this to me. I didn't have to pay over $3 uh, on premiums just for this. Um, so, yeah, I don't recommend these. And so there are some other people that <clears throat> think that uh, on the survivalist philosophy that we might try to barter with copper. Um, and I can probably see that. That's fine. And the, the big question is if the um, Shikaka hits the fan, right? I have so many names, huh? <clears throat> well, anyway, if the Shikaka hits the fan... And that's an Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls kind of shout out. So, again, <clears throat> if it hits the fan, would you be willing to take these as a form of payment? And it's going to depend on you. And like I said, um, would you want copper or not? Um, for me personally, you know, if everyone else started taking this and I can buy stuff with this, then I'll accept it. <clears throat> okay, so if someone wanted uh, some food... Or they wanted, um, I don't know, some water, and I had some, and they paid me in uh, copper. Would I take it? If this was accepted as a trading medium with everyone else, meaning to say if I traded my goods for this, and I was able to take this and buy other goods, then yeah, you know, I'll, I'll accept it. But if people are not accepting these, then... I can't accept it because if I accept this and I give you my goods and I try turning this um, around and trying to spend this to buy things I need and people are like, no, you know what, I don't, I've never seen that before, I don't, I don't want to take it. 
I don't want to risk, uh, I don't know if it is actual copper or, or whatever excuse they give you, um, you're going to be stuck with this. Okay, so depending on the trading medium at that point in time, if we ever hit that, um, and if they are using this, then I will take this also and accept this as trade medium. Okay? I mean, they've used copper in the past, you know, gold, silver, and copper. Um, so, you know, some people are thinking, why not? Why not copper? So, and then with the copper pennies too, would you accept that? in uh, those types of scenarios. Um, for people who are not trained in uh, precious metals, meaning to say they don't know that pre-1981 pennies are actually 95% copper, if they don't know that, they won't take the pennies. And so if I uh, try to take your pennies and I try to buy stuff with it and people don't recognize that as a trading medium, then guess what? Your copper pennies are going to be worthless. So that is the survivalist um, philosophy. Uh, in terms of investment philosophy, again, you're you're paying way too much for the premiums on these things. And as an investor, you want to maximize your money. You want to buy as much as you can, um, and and not um, and with, with little risk. I mean, this you know, I can't take this to the coin store and say, hey, you know what, I wanna I wanna uh, cash this in. Even if I did, I would get only twenty two cents. You know, based on the um, price of copper and that's per pound so when you try to calculate it to ounces which i did before it was only 22 cents so i mean i can't turn this in so what can i do with this so in a sense it becomes a collector's item for now um who knows maybe later on um it might be used as uh, something else a trading medium if it hits uh um if it hits uh well the shikaka hits the fan um, and investor wise, stay away from it. If you're just strictly an investor, stay away from it. Um, and if you're a collector, you know, if you've got extra money to splurge, then I would try to pay as low as possible. I mean, if they're selling this, um, I think at the Copper Cave for like a buck fifty, you know, yeah, you know, why not? You know, just in case. Um, so there you have it. Uh, there's some things for you guys to think about. Um, and hopefully these uh, videos are definitely helping you out in terms of precious metals and how you kind of view uh, yourself as an investor. There are a lot of times people just say, oh, yeah, get this, get this. You know, it's going to go up, it's going to go up. Um, but, you know, I try to hit all different aspects of collecting precious metals. And you always hear me say, oh, that's my collector side talking. That's my investor side talking. Um, because there are different facets of myself as a as someone who does collect precious metals. I mean, again, I, I try to span all three philosophies in terms of survival, investing, as well as collecting. Okay, so hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, again, do your due diligence, calculate your premiums, and uh, as a resource, uh, go to coinflation.com. This is Nozcat, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them. Uh, if you like these videos, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, so that just encourages me to do more. Um, and uh, again, you know, if uh, you just want to come on the channel and say, hey, you know what, you're a poop head. Um, it's a free country. I can't tell you what you can and cannot do, but I mean, I also want to be civilized, and I also want to uh, in engage in conversation. So if you don't really have nice to, anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. All right, you got to catch you guys later.